Hi, Hello, Melissa. Melissa. Hello. Hi. Um, let me see. Well, me and the other OTA have decided to come because you're ready for discharge. And this is the OT, which you know. Um, so we're just going to go over some things. Anybody want to say anything? Oh. Okay, <laughs> we would like to go over your, um, your budget, if you don't mind. And we would like you to make a list of priorities. Um, so, what do you mean a list of priorities? Well, we just want to see... Where your money is you kind of going to when yeah, you leave. That you can make good decisions when you leave. We just want to make sure that you're on top of things when it comes to handling your money. And, and uh, we just want you to, you know, have the best and easiest time that you can with your money when you get out of here. Okay. So we just so we just, just want to see how you're doing with that. Just quickly jot some things down. Hmm. So you have a list of 12 things there. And if you don't mind just putting which one is more important to you from the most to the list. Sure. Okay, it looks like you finished your list. Good job. Okay. Let's take a look at it. So, what, is, uh, what does Melissa have as her number one priority on her list? Hmm. Well, it seems that she put down rent for her first priority. Oh, that's pretty seems good. pretty reasonable. Yeah. Um, she then put down grocery and food, so she lauded some money for that. So, yeah. everything seems to be on the right track. Um, for number three, she put in essential clothing. Well, that's pretty well, good. You gotta keep warm, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah good coming. idea. Bank loan. Hmm. It's also very important. Mm. Uh, and if you like traveling, number five is traveling for you. Yeah, well, my family doesn't live here, so I want to go and visit them whenever I could. And how often will that be? Well, once or twice a year, if I could. Okay. Once or twice a year is pretty reasonable. Yeah, that's pretty good. And do you think you're going to be able to cut that into a half? Maybe one time a year to go there? Well, if I have to, I guess I could maybe go once a year and they come once a year. But I would really like to go twice. That might be something that you're going to have to do. Negotiate. Mm -hmm. But we'll look at we'll your other options before that. Um, so you want to buy a Mercedes as soon as you get out of here? Well, not as soon as I get out, but... To me, a car was more important than looking good and stuff like that. Um, and what what about a car? Is it, do you want something just reliable, or do you? Well, need I've something? always wanted a Mercedes. Uh, so that's why I put that. Are you sure you can afford a Mercedes? Um, I guess if I don't eat, yeah. <laughs> well, we don't want that to happen. Um, is there any way? Uh, I guess we don't. We don't have a problem with you getting a car, but is, have, have you ever considered uh, maybe buying something else? Do you like any other kinds of cars that might not be as expensive? Or? Um, well, I've heard a lot about Mercedes, and they're good vehicles, they're reliable, so that's why I chose that one. Okay. Um, I well, guess as well. I guess well, we could we could do some some work for you and look into some other choices of cars you might like too. I mean, you you might as well you could see some other things just before you make up your mind. I guess. Yeah. Um, just to give you some choice, we, we wouldn't want you to buy something that you change your mind on later. I guess. And if it's in your choice, it's your choice at the end, then we yeah, respect like, that as well. Um, so for number seven, you put expensive clothing. So is there any way maybe we can work around that? Like if you had to? Yeah. Just so we can somehow cut the costs? I guess I don't have to buy two pairs of jeans. I'm going to buy one. Alright. And then I see the next one on my says spa. I like to dye my hair a lot. And uh, how often do you go to the spa? Once a month. Mm. Yeah, we all like going to the spa. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any other places that you can go to? Maybe a little bit more of a discount? Maybe you can do it at home? <laughs> what do you usually get done in the spa other than your hair? The nails, the toes, the bodily hair. <laughs> so do you think you can uh, sacrifice the nails and the toes maybe? I guess I could keep wearing the socks if we don't have to see the toes. 
Mm -hmm. I can paint it myself. And the other seam pretty much in place. We'll just go to the last one. Restaurants, jewelry. So hobby. What kind of a hobby do you have? Well, it's your expensive hobby. Well, it was just there on the list, and I don't really have any expensive hobbies, but it, so that's why it's last. So you know. So if I do take up uh, smoking, <laughs> <laughs> that's my last on the list. I'm not like gonna rush to go to the store and buy cigarettes. Okay. Okay. That's okay, good. that's good. Sounds pretty reasonable to me. Right. So do you that's think okay. you're ready to get out there and uh, manage your finances? I hope so. I hope our as long as I have a roof over my head and food to eat and clothes to keep me warm. That's what we like to hear. Good. We as a team would think you're ready to go to go to go out there. Thank you. We'll send you information on some better some cars that we think you'd like that are that could be better than a Mercedes. Okay. I'll be looking forward to that. All right. Okay. So